Hare Krishna, I would like to welcome all of you for this <coughs> last session of uh, our holy uh, kata. I wish to s say that this is uh, mm, uh, coming from a very a wonderful Vaishnav, uh, Gadad Habata, who had really insight into the pastimes of the Lord. So before mm, uh, uh, we will uh, finish uh, this uh, Leela, in which is in the most surprising way, uh, it, it, it comes to a most surprising conclusion, uh, I would uh, love to set a little bit a foundation. You must uh, know that the uh, uh, full relishment of Krishna takes place with two items or two perspectives. One is uh, uh, his uh, uh, th the, the truth about him, tattva, where we uh, study foundational uh, principles, how he is the origin of everything, Ishvara, Parama Krishna. Mm, but th that alone cannot give you uh, the full understanding mm, of the Lord. You also have to know about his uh, pastimes, <laughs> the beauty of his form, uh, the beauty of his uh, mm, flute play, uh, the uh, beauty of his wonderful, you know, how he interacts with his confidential devotees. So, so both together uh, make the full uh, taste uh, and uh, Today I would like to uh, just uh, will be very sweet uh, quote a verse and read Prabhupada's purpose, which you will uh, love very much. I just need to see. Uh, I think it is in here as well. Let me just see. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Om Namo <coughs> Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sivan Mukhe Hijivado 
Sometimes we had this beautiful X-like uh, book stand, as it should be perhaps in the back, mm, if someone could hand it over to me. Ata. Ata. Therefore, Therefore. Mm. Sri Krishna Namadi, Lord Krishna's name, form, qualities, pastimes, and so on. Lord Krishna's name, Lord Jesus, past times, and so on. Yes. Na, Na not, not. Bhave, Bhave can be, be. Grayam perceived, perceived. Indriyai by the blunt material senses. Sevan Muke. To one engaged in his service. He certainly Jivado beginning with the tongue. Swayam personally. Eva certainly. Spurati becomes manifest. Adaha those. So this is a verse from the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Um, there is n no purport, but Srila uh, Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami uh, explains this in a Bengali way, and, I, and Prabhupada writes a purport there. So please, um, mm, this is a philosophical principle, uh, a, a foundation, <coughs> it's an understanding of uh, how Krishna is beyond the reach of the uh, sense perception of the material, uh, of the conditioned soul. The Rig Veda uh, 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 has a verse which explains that when words want to explain uh, that supreme truth, they return unsuccessful. And in the same way when eyes want to s our eyes want to see, they return without having grasped uh, the, f the form. Uh, the, the Lord is uh, uh, existing in a realm that is not accessible to the material senses and mind. No? But still there is something we can do to realize him. Please listen carefully. This will require your best of attention now. Therefore, material senses cannot appreciate Krishna's holy name, form, qualities, and pastimes. 
The Sanskrit word grayam means they can't grasp it. No? Therefore, material senses cannot appreciate Krishna's holy name, form, qualities and pastimes. When a conditioned soul is awakened to Krishna consciousness, however, and renders service by using his tongue to chant the Lord's holy name and taste the remnants of the Lord's food, the tongue is purified and one gradually comes to understand who Krishna really is. So, I think what we hear is very clear. Uh, our materially conditioned souls, sorry, senses, will not be able to grasp anything about the Lord's name, form, and past, pastimes, etc. But if our senses are purified, at that time uh, the Lord uh, becomes spurati, means manifest. He, he descends, uh, being attracted by a certain mood which the devotee has. Do you remember the mood which is important? The mood of service. Hmm? Good. So, Krishna Das Kaviraj uh, uh, Goswami is uh, summarizing this text for us. Um, Ateva Krishnera Nama Deha Vilasa Prakritendriya Graya Nohe Hayasva Prakasha The holy name of Krishna, his body and his pastimes cannot be understood by the blunt material senses. They are manifested independently. Uh, uh, the word Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami uses is Svaprakash. They are self-manifested or manifested uh, because of the Lord's own, uh, uh, own, own, own will no? and by his energy. I am aware that we have a computer here and Valentina, if you are so kind to put the uh, text up, it's text, it's the preceding verse, it's 134. You showed us 136, but now please go to 134, it must be right there, and then it's easier to follow when you can uh, read along. Our computer experts from Berlin? <laughs> no? <laughs> yes. yes, 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 yes. So please move it up because uh, up means higher. We will. Uh, our Berlin uh, computer, Wallace, you, you know how to deal with these monsters. No, 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 this is uh, helpful machines. Uh, so again, <laughs> the holy name of Krishna, his body and his pastimes cannot be understood by the blunt material senses. They are manifested independently. And now Prabhupada's purport. Since Krishna's transcendent body, name, form, qualities, pastimes and entourage are all the absolute truth. They are as good as Krishna himself. Sachid Ananda Vikraha. As long as the living entity is conditioned by the three modes of material nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance, the objects of his material senses, namely the material form, taste, smell, sound, and touch, will not help him understand spiritual knowledge and bliss. Rather, they are revealed to the pure devotee. Once material name, form and qualities are certainly different from one another. In the material world there is no conception of absolute. 
However, when we come to Krishna consciousness, we find that there is no material difference between Krishna's body and his names, activities and entourage. Namo Vishnu Padaya Join me please Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Sami Hitinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pachadine Nirvishesha Shunyavari Askatyade Shadarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adreta Garadhara Shri Vashari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uh, during our uh, wonderful immersion in transcendental subject matters I I believe that there was so much nectar and I tried to catch, catch it as much as possible in my notebook and will go through it again there was also a, a brief narration on Narada Muni I forgot which one of our esteemed uh, devotee lecturers had, had brought this out and I would like to bring you uh, to, to this <coughs> episode Narada Muni um, had lost his uh, only material protector his mother when he was very young she had uh, died when she went out <coughs> milking the cow uh, and a snake had suddenly appeared and bitten her and uh, the people of the village brought her back and she was already dead. The poison took such quick effect and the little boy then uh, was carefully brought to see his dead mother and say goodbye. Uh, traumatic for a child. Narada Muni at that time, small boy, could understand. I lost my my protector. The, his father was also not not uh, there, mm, and uh, so I lost him. Uh, I, I am without parents <coughs> now. It's very difficult for a child to be <coughs> orphaned and like that. You know, seeing your mother with, uh, <laughs> with the, the effects of the snake bite. So he understood, I only have now one protector, uh, the, the Lord. And he went out as a child, as a young, uh, young child, to find uh, that Lord. And on the way he met uh, a gr uh, Lord Shiva, who gave him a powerful mantra. And then he, uh, after journeying, traveling for some time he finally decided to sit down uh, under the banyan tree by the lake by the side of a lake and he had meditated on this mantra and then something happened all of a sudden he he heard uh, some sound which was not from this world he heard the sound of of ankle bells, but they were very, very particular and very sweet. And then mm, he, uh, his, uh, uh, so his sense of hearing was 
was able to hear something <laughs> transcendental, then all of a sudden an uh, amazing fragrance came into his <coughs> nostrils and his um, uh, sense of smelling was awakened and then finally very playfully dancing into his vision was Krishna playing his flute and he had the darshan uh, of Lord K Krishna uh, of, uh, which totally uh, overwhelmed him with a feeling he had not yet known uh, a feeling of uh, transcendental emotions which uh, uh, peaked into an ecstasy um, uh, of the highest order. Um, yet, after some time, he lost the vision. There, in poetry, you find an ex example of how this is. It's when the Lord is visible for the devotee, it's like the flame of a candle which is visible in the darkness. And then when he disappears, zoop, the flame of the candle is gone. It's just like, zoop, it's gone. And uh, it becomes, in your perception, doubly as dark, uh, the, the room. So when a devotee has seen uh, momentarily the darshan of the Lord, then he is very much overwhelmed. It's a, it's a whole uh, all around sensual experience also you know that he sm smells the fragrance he sees he hears the lord and all the five senses are uh, involved and then when the lord disappears whew, the, the devotee has only one 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 mind now how can i find the lord so he was a child he was helpless and the Lord took compassion upon him and he said, I'm sorry Narada Muni that in this lifetime you will not see me again. However, he spoke in very consolatory words. The words came to Narada Muni after he had you know, lost the Lord and he had, he had tried to go through the same steps which he had done, you know, chanted the mantra and all of this, there are a few, few preparatory steps which the devotee undertakes for more focus and so on. And he tried to do it, but the Lord didn't, didn't appear. You can't force the Lord, it's not by a mechanical process. He has to reveal himself. So anyway, so the Lord spoke to him and said, I won't, it won't, work you, you, you can't you will not see me no matter what you try how much you chant your mantra i will not show myself again however that's not really a problem that is rightly done because by showing myself one time to you you have now developed an hankering to see me again. And this hankering, this mood of separation will burn away any remaining traces or taints from your heart. And here, my dear devotees, now you will need to listen a little bit careful because we will now go into methodology things which you can also do. Here is a secret of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's spirituality, <laughs> the way he presented it. He, uh, 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 it's a very specific blend, a very particular bhakti, a very particular mood. And we here in this retreat, uh, our Keshava Maharaj, our Hari Pashad, uh, and all the others, we were t uh, secretly trying to create this, this mood, either consciously or unconsciously. 
because this is very deep, I will read it in the words of Prabhupada to you. It is from uh, a lecture he gave in 71. It's not uh, long, it's also not difficult, but you might have to focus a little bit and uh, listen with that part of yourself who's very interested in spiritual advancement. Yes? I know we all have other parts, but we also have this part. So, Prabhupada says, he would always say a long drawn out, so we have to follow the footprints of the Goswamis. How to search out Krishna and Radharani, Vrindavan. Then he says, to search out Radha, Krishna, Vindavan, or within your heart. That is the process of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's bhajans. Bhaja means like worship, private worship, no? Feeling of separation. Vipralamba. Vipralamba seva. Hmm. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu feeling the separation of Krishna. He was falling down in the sea. He was coming out of his restroom or, uh, or his bedroom, yes, nowadays restroom is something else, uh, uh, or his bedroom, Prabhupada says, and going out at dead of night. Nobody knew where he was gone. So uh, he was searching. This process of devotional service is taught by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not that very easily. We have seen Krishna, huh? or seen Radharani in Rasalila. <laughs> no, not like that. Feeling the separation. The more you feel separation from Krishna, you should understand that you are advancing. The more you feel separation from Krishna, you should understand that you are advancing. Don't try to see Krishna artificially. Be advanced in separation feeling and then it will be perfect. That is the teaching of Lord Chaitanya. Because with our material eyes, we cannot see Krishna. And then he quotes this verse which we have chanted today Atta Shri Krishna Namadi Nabavet Grayam Indriyai With our material senses we cannot see Krishna we cannot even hear about Krishna's name But Sevan Muke Hi Jivado when you engage yourself in the service of the Lord, where does this service begin? It's now very practical. Jivaro, the service begins from the tongue. tongue yes, not from the legs, <laughs> eyes, <laughs> or ears. It begins from the tongue. Begins doesn't mean it, it, this is excluded. Uh, of course, we use our legs in Krishna's service. We use our eyes when we view the deity. Uh, we use our ears as we... Uh, primarily we use our ears, really, in devotional service. Uh, but it begins from the tongue. If you begin service through your tongue, how? Send Hare Krishna, <laughs> use your tongue, Hare, if, you, if you like to say with me, Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And take Krishna Prasadam. The tongue has got two businesses, to articulate sound, Hare Krishna, and take we have understood this prasad is we, we are pleasing Krishna by offering offering him delicious food 
and then he returns that for us as one form of mercy, uh, the prasadam. By this process you will realize Krishna. If you want to find the entire lecture, uh, he gave it in uh, uh, London on the in August 29, 1971. Uh, so, uh, mm, uh, yes. Let us note, Krishna becomes manifested Svapakash or Spurati same, same concept to our perception if we turn to him in the mood of service. Now this mood of service and here again you must listen very carefully uh, because it will expand your understanding <coughs> what service is. This mood of service uh, is also, uh, or this service is vipralamba uh, seva, no? feeling the separation. Uh, we will be very concrete in a moment, uh, but uh, let us understand bhakti or devotional service has two forms, not one form. We often think, uh, yeah, service, I'm doing something with my body and so on. But you also need to have the mm, uh, right bhava, the right mood. <coughs> uh, th this is called Cheshta Rupa Bhakti, the form of where you e make an effort with your senses, but it must be mm, supplemented your service with the right right <coughs> a bhava which is called bhava mm, rupa bhakti the form of uh, of of um, the, the the mood and the mood here is oh my dear lord krishna uh, i am here in this world you are so wonderful uh, my dear lord krishna please i'm uh, I, I'm here in this world, but I, I brought this uh, for you. Please accept. No? Mm, this, uh, oh, my Lord. Um, I remember in this world I had a very nice experience. I, I had a loving mother, I must say, and in Germany we f celebrate once a year Mother's Day. Do we have that in England also? Yes. In India we have Mother's Day also? Every day. Every day. <laughs> 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 so during Mother's Day I wanted to uh, <coughs> satisfy my mother and I had saved 10 German marks. So I went down, we, we lived in a big house in, in, on an island. It was very romantic. I had a wonderful childhood, actually. And in that big house, it was a big, big, big house, there was also a small shop, like a kiosk. And I bought for my mother a thing like this with, pl uh, please help me, pralines? Is it, does it make sense? The sweets, no? With the hazelnut and marzipan and chocolate coated. And on the Mother's Day, I was very small and very attached to my mother. I brought her this, this big box with sweets. My mother looked at me and said, Who sold you this? <laughs> Oh, I know my mother was in an angry mood. <laughs> mother, Mother Day, this is not the question. Please take your pralines. I know you have a sweet tongue. Mm, you know, you please. Who sold my little boy this box, this big box? Who has so cruelly divested him of all his money? <laughs> oh, 
then I had to say, it's, it's the lady down in this, you know, who has this kiosk. My mother immediately went down with the box. How can you accept the payment of a small little boy who has no money uh, uh, and, and buy him such a big thing, cost him, take it back and give him the money back. Oh, the lady downstairs knew you can't argue with my mother when she is in this mood. So, I'm sorry, he wanted it. You are a grown up person. He is small. So then I was devastated that I had come, you know, like a shadow behind my mother <laughs> to see how this ended. And German education can be quite tough. <laughs> and and she, the, 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 the lady, you know, with tears in her eyes gave me back the 10, uh, ten marks. And uh, my mother <coughs> said, never, ever uh, do this to my boy again. He's a ni nice little boy, but he's a boy, small, small mind. Mm. I was devastated on that day. I thought my mother is so wonderful, but I have not been able to please her on the Mother's Day. Oh, what can I do? So I remember I went into the garden and I picked uh, these yellow flowers which you see, but I was so desperate to please her. I, I got a huge thing, you know. <laughs> I, it was like this. And then I went to my mother. Mother, please take. <laughs> and she then put me on the lap and said, so many flowers, where will it be? <coughs> okay, yes, 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 we have buckets and, and uh, you know, and uh, then she accepted. And uh, I always remember that when Prabhupada once gave a, a lecture, he said, uh, he, oh, Krishna, please, I'm, I'm trying to serve you. Please accept, you know, in that, in that deep mood um, of, of, of seva. So the devotee who is entering this mood I miss you, Krishna. I, I miss you. I, I'm, I'm really... When, when I cry, I will give my tears other names. I cry for this or that loss. But really, behind it all is, I, I miss you. Please, my Lord, let me do some service for you. And so on. Then the Lord becomes pleased and he becomes manifested with sweet memories and so on and so forth. So this is the mood. Uh, I miss you uh, uh, and I want to please you, uh, which attracts the, um, the attention of the Lord, who then becomes, uh, in whatever way he chooses, revealed to the devotee. No? This is the way you can enter into uh, to that thing. And that was so mercifully revealed to us by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who, uh, and, and this teaching came down uh, to Bhakti Sana. Don't try to see the Lord, but act in such a way that He sees you. Remember yesterday one of you asked a very important question which perhaps we should all reflect uh, upon one more time and Keshava Maharaj gave an excellent answer to this question. The person said, I, I, I feel very inspired but I know when I return home, uh, yeah, I always say after my retreats, when you turn home, there will be someone knocking at the door, ping, 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 and you will say, no, no, not here, I'm not here, go, but the knocking will become bigger. I, I said, I'm not here, I just come from the retreat, I'm different. <laughs> okay, finally you have to open it, and who stands at the door, your old life. <laughs> with all your habits, uh, with all your clouded mind, um, you, all these things which we may have. Uh, during that time, my dear devotees, 
Let there be this awareness of your goal. You have heard uh, Hari Parshad's very ecstatic presentations. Some of you have felt something. Some devotees came to me they, when, when they heard how Krishna said to, and sorry, Radha spoke to Krishna, you know, after they had seen each other after a long time, and, uh, they felt uh, some deep emotions in Krishna consciousness. And you, and uh, some of you have told me, we don't want anything else now. We want Krishna, Krishna. I said, yes, wonderful. But someone will knock at your door, your old life. And what will you say then? Um, remain aware of the goal. Remain aware, uh, aware of these feelings that have uh, been generated in the retreat. And then follow that voice, follow that fragrance, follow that uh, sweetness in your life as much as you can in the mood of separation. I'm not yet here, but I'm, and I'm not yet there, but I want to go there. Wonderful, no? Yes. Yes. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Having said this, we will now ho 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 ri ho 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 ri ho 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 ri. We will go and change, but before we do this, we will chant, uh, we will sing a song of Vidyapati. Um, there are two, there are four poets which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would listen during in uh, during the mood of uh, when he was relishing the mood of vipralamba in the gambira one was chandidas we heard yesterday a very moving moving poem second vidyapati third bilva mangala thakur fourth Jayadev Goswami, you know, yes. So today we will chant one song of Chandidas. Um, it is a song which Srila Prabhupada has sung, sung um, and uh, Gokrishna is, is the nightingale of uh, our uh, uh, assembly today. Uh, he will sing. Please sing along. I will also provide the trans. Perhaps I say uh, say the translation first, that you have an idea what you will sing. Oh Lord, <laughs> yeah, it's nice that you yes you will say, sing it in 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 his language. Uh, um, I have forgotten you completely. I have offered my mind unto the society of women children and friends but this experience has been just like offering a drop of water unto the burning hot sands of the beach how can i possibly be relieved of this great misery you know i have forgotten you but i have tried to quench the pain with the uh, society, uh, women, children, friends, everything except you. But uh, all this was just like a drop of water that was quickly evaporating. How can I possibly be relieved of this misery which I feel? Oh Madhava! Oh. As a consequence, I'm. Yes, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I thought you know we need to go a little bit fast here. As a consequence, I'm rendered totally despondent, dejected, desperate. You are the savior of the universe and are merciful to the helpless soul. Therefore, I place my hope only in you. 
I'm wandering around in this world in a half alive condition. You could also say half dead. I spent my life in utter disgrace. Uncountable days passed as a frivolous child and a useless old man. <laughs> I have been intoxicated by the pleasure of sharing romantic adventures with beautiful young women. When will I ever get a chance to really worship you? <coughs> Numberless Brahmas have died one after another, whereas you are without beginning or end. All of them take birth from you and are again absorbed in you, just like the dashing waves in the ocean. Vidyapati confesses that now, at the end of his life, he is fearful of death. O oh Lord, there is no shelter other than you. You will always remain celebrated as being the Lord of both beginning and the beginningless. Now the responsibility for my deliverance from the material world is entirely yours. So we will sing, sing this briefly. Try to enter the mood, oh Lord, I'm, I have forgotten you and I've suffered <coughs> and I'm turning now to you. Please accept me. Oh, 
As a consequence of forgetting you, I am rendered totally despondent. You are the saviour of the universe and are merciful to the helpless souls. Therefore, I place my hope only in you. It's time for all of us to go to the sacred land of Vindavan. May Vindavan, the giver of all auspiciousness to everyone, with ease, the recipient of prema, the bestower of unlimited existence full of bliss, and Darwin, the bestower of unlimited existence full of bliss, become the support of me, <coughs> this very blind person. <coughs> May I develop prema for this Vindavan, where at the base of a kadamba tree, big kadamba tree, on the bank of the blackish Yamuna. There is an attractive dark youth. His nature is amorous, amorous love. He is wearing yellow cloth and he joyfully plays his flute while gazing at the lotus face of Shirata. Yes. My dear devotees, what is the use of the highest, highest pleasures from enjoying a kingdom? What is the use of yoga methods for attaining other planets? What is the use of other efforts? Just by living in Vindavan, I will hear the sweet, pleasing flute sound, which is the essence of all bliss. My dear devotees, we remember <laughs> that Krishna had to run away from the battlefield of love. And in the forest, finally he was only still accompanied by three of his cowherd boyfriends. The others had all been chased away to the, in the eastern direction, the western direction, the northern direction, the up and the down and finished. And Krishna said, now I'm sorry I disappointed you, I was your leader, but we've lost the battle, now I just need to meditate about the Parabrahman. <coughs> We remember how he sat down in a kutir in the lotus position and he meditated first on the moon, the sun and then the fire and then in his vision Svapakash self-manifested he saw the beautiful form of Radha. As the forest was echoing the sounds of Jai Si Radhe Radha Rani Ki Jai Maharani Ki Jai Radha Rani Ki Jai Maharani Ki Jai Radha Rani Ki Jai Maharani Ki Jai The deers even danced, uh, they forgot all shyness. There was jubilation everywhere, but one person alone was despondent. 
Shimati Radharani. She said, my beloved has left me. We have insulted him. Stop this chanting, stop this chanting. Uh, oh Vishaka, you must find him and bring him to me. So Vishaka, understanding this grave situation, became very firm in her resolve. Oh Radha, she said, I will become your messenger of love and bring Krishna to you. So she searches all over Braj, but Krishna cannot be found. She becomes desperate. If we do not join Radha and Krishna, this is the end of everything. Finally, no, not finally, suddenly she sees the beautiful face of Subal. Do you remember Subal? What is his complexion? Golden. Golden, yes, like Radha. What color of dhoti he prefers? Green. Green, Green. yes. So she suddenly sees Shubha. She goes like, <sighs> Shubha. Krishna is not far from Shubha, or Shubha is not far from Krishna. And she, but she cannot show it. She very strongly says, tell me about Krishna. Subal is very, very irritated. How can I describe the condition of our Krishna? He sits in the Kunja and whenever only a ray of the sun is visible and shines, through the sticks or through the it's not sticks through the leaves of the kunja uh, my sucker thinks it is Shimati Radharani's effulgence she he thinks finally Radha has come to solve the misery of his heart and he goes to the door of the kunja and he looks down the path from where Radha might have arrived. But then he sees it's not Radha. It's only the sun. Then Krishna takes deep breath. Sighs and says, Hapriya, Hapriya. When he sees yellow champa creepers embracing a tamal tree, he thinks of Radha's sweet embrace. When he sees that it was only the light of the sun and the light of the flowers and that Radha has not arrived, he goes back into the kunja and tries to sit peacefully, but he cannot find peace. He goes and stands up restlessly. He goes to all the corners of the Kunja. Perhaps she is in the eastern corner. Perhaps she is in the western corner. Sometimes, when he hears the swans from down in the Yamuna making sounds, he mistakes the sounds of the swans for the sounds of ankle bells and thinks Radha is coming. But then she's, he sees it's only the swans who shake their wings to remove the water. Vishaka, save the life of Krishna. Bring Krishna to Radha. Vishaka very strongly. She has the resolve. Let me not melt down now. After all, it is my Radha whom I'm serving. She says, where is your Syam now? Super. 
I will lead you to him. So when Subal opens the door of the Kunja, Kunja, you must know, it's you could call it in the West, you would call it a tree house, but it's in a tree house that the, 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 the house is up in the tree. Here is different. It's the trees, flower bearing trees, who, in order to serve the divine couple, have uh, taken up on a formation, you could say, or stand as to make a perfect. Place. These places have terraces, they have meeting rooms, they have a, there's a room for private pastimes uh, and so on. And they are full of flowers and on top of it they are decorated from the inside with flowers. So Subal opens the door to the conch where Krishna says and Vishaka sees Krishna. But how does he look? He sits with folded legs on the floor like a yogi and like a madman he sings Radhe, 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 Radhe. <laughs> then uh, Syama sensing the presence of Vishaka opens with great effort his eyes and Vishaka sees tears are flowing out of those eyes who used to roam restlessly, who used to have bows, bows, eyebrows, which moved crookedly, you know. <laughs> the powerful love has made him into a submissive servant of Radha. So Krishna collects himself with some effort and says, O Vishaka, I, I welcome you. Tell me honestly, <coughs> where is Radha? And Vishaka, full of pretense, says, I don't know. No idea. Krishna, I know that you know where Radha is because I see the beginning of a smile on your lips. You are not tense as if you are missing Radha. Vishaka says, Syam, it really doesn't matter where she is or not is. You are simply <coughs> not qualified to meet her. Go to your other lady friends. Radha is too good for you. Clever gopis, no? <laughs> Servants of Radha. <laughs> then Vishaka says, okay, there's one way how you can placate, placate, pacify Shimati Radharani. Vishaka has seen that Krishna is at the place where <laughs> She, as the servant of Radha, wants to have him. His lips are trembling. <coughs> his Pitambara has become wet from his tears. And he remains completely quiet. He who spoke the Bhagavad Gita, he who inspired the entire Vedic scriptures to come forth from <laughs> Brahma, he who knows always something to say, is absolutely quiet, quiet. And so she says, Krishna, there's one thing. You must now do this very, very faithfully. You should become a yogi, dress up like a yogi, <laughs> take on the disguise of a yogi. And because Radha has great respect for saintly people, not for you. <laughs> She will melt. <laughs> you must know, my dear devotees, there in the pastimes of uh, Radha and Krishna, this is not the first time where Krishna takes on a disguise to pacify Shimati Radharani. Once he came as a great astrologer and Radha 
uh, 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 greeted him and says, Oh great astrologer, Noah of all things, what place of residence gives the supreme bliss? And Krishna dressed as an astrologer. I have no idea how an astrologer is dressed. Perhaps I can imagine he has a powerful a, 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 astro astrological shastra in one hand and he has some some things to calculate uh, you know he will perhaps draw need something to draw a circle on and the dust of braj you know and so on something like this he's dressed very <coughs> dignified uh, you know and so rada asks what what is uh, the place where, where the supreme bliss can be had and the astrologer krishna says is the cowherd pastures of Krishna. Then Radha says, and what is the essence of all life for all beings? And Krishna gives an interesting answer. At the Let us say, astrologer Krishna, Krishna astrologer, I don't know. Or, Singing songs about Krishna is the essence of life. You can see that's why Kirtan is so powerful. No? Then Radha says, Now what is the one thing that gives the highest blessing to all beings? And Krishna says, Keeping in mind that Radha is, is sulky and doesn't want to see him, but it looks very sad and Krishna says the highest uh, incomparable auspiciousness is the desire to attain Krishna the Radha asks and what is the most enjoyable thing and Krishna says see how clever and how by now Radha has an idea that who is the astrologer and Krishna answers the beauty of Krishna is the most enjoyable thing <laughs> uh, uh, finally Radha asked what is the ultimate attainment for anyone in this creation and Krishna broke out in a smile and said the company of Krishna <laughs> this my astrological scriptures <laughs> say just 100% <laughs> and so yes so soon after this amazing discussion between Vishaka and Krishna someone very extraordinary was seen in Braj it was a yogi who wore a tiger skin blanket. He was smeared with ashes, but they were not gray ashes, they were bluish ashes, <laughs> all over himself. And he went all over Vashana and he blew in a conch shell. No yogi was ever seen like this, <laughs> but he's Paka Yogi, you know. <laughs> Then one day he sat down in Vashana. What is Vashana? Where who lives in Vashana? Yeah. Yes, you know. He sat in Padmasan, lotus position. And he sat there with his eyes closed as if he was in deep samadhi. So Shimati Radharani had seen that yogi and she told her sakis, let us go to that yogi who is in samadhi. We will get some benefit just by sitting next to him. Mm -mm. It's a beautiful yogi, no? Uh, it seems Narada himself has come to Vashana. He is also having a kamandalu, a water pot. Then one gopi commented, but look beneath uh, he has a deer skin and above the deer skin a lion skin. The second gopi guessed, but his eyebrows are so shapely. 
Mm. So they all came closer, very innocent. Uh, and one gopi said, Maharaj, Maharaj, Krishna was Samadhi. <laughs> Maharaj, can you tell us where you have come from? Krishna opens his eyes and he says, from the southern direction. And all the gopis said, very good. You have come from the direction where Giriraj is. Do you know the name of Giriraj? Giridhari, Krishna? No? Mm. Lalita says, tell please what's in my mind. And the yogi says, come closer. This is a little private. I tell you in secret what is in your mind. I will tell it in your ear. So he says to Lalita, you and all the gopis and especially your leader is only thinking of one subject matter. What is the subject? Lalita wants to test Krishna, no? <laughs> test the yogi if he has clairvoyant abilities. And Krishna, uh, yogi, yogi Krishna says, you only think of that bluish coward boy. And Radha, uh, Lalita blushes and he goes, she goes back to the gopis, he knows our mind. <laughs> <laughs> he can read minds. <laughs> so while this is going on, um, uh, Shimati Radharani, who, who has found out, Krishna can't hide really uh, long from her, she, she had a sarcastic smile on her face. And he said, Oh, Yogi Raj! <laughs> no, she said, he, she said oh, go, oh, Yogi Raj Ji! <laughs> Babas usually live in the forest, but you have come in the town of Vashana. Couldn't you live in the forest where your sense is too <laughs> uncontrolled? <laughs> Therefore you had to come in the town? And why are you shamelessly going around on the streets of Vashana blowing in a conch shell? Is this what yogis do? <laughs> <laughs> Are you really a tapasvi, renounced person, or are you a pretender? Yogis usually apply ashes, grey ashes, on the body. But what you have is a very fragrant cosmetic. Since when do yogis and cosmetics go together? <laughs> so all the gopis understand what is going on, that they burst out laughing and proudly proclaim, oh yes, just see, our glorious Radharani knows the 64 arts, she can see through any disguise. <laughs> uh, then Radha says, tell us one more thing. If you are a yogi, can you call anyone to come here simply by your wishing? You know, this is a city of the yogis. They can, if you, they can manifest. Mm, for instance, Prabhupada explains there was one yogi and someone came to him and said, uh, the, the, the wanted to test the yogi and he said, Oh yogi, can you, can you bring anything here? And the yogi said, Yes, anything, what would you like? <coughs> uh, pomegranates from Kabul. So the yogi said, go in the room, uh, a neighboring room, and then he found uh, this person, visitor, pomegranates, and and a freshly, you know, a twig or a, a branch where the pomegranates were on. So, uh, <coughs> should I call for a man? asked Yogi Raj Krishna. Should I call for a god? 
or would you like to see a goddess? Whom shall I call? And the gopis very shyly said, call that one who is always in our minds. So the yogi said, good, now you must close your eyes. <laughs> This is a very difficult task, but let me try. Close your eyes. And they, they go, not you, not you. Uh, uh, so all the gopis closed their eyes, and then Yogi Raj Krishna clapped in his head, and they all came up, and there Lord Krishna stood in front of them, dressed in a very, very wonderful spring-like way, like you can <coughs> see our Madan Mohan is dressed really uh, in the spring outfit, it's springtime here. And uh, he was smiling and uh, then he took his celebrated flute and uh, again Vindavan saw how the divine couple Radha and Krishna came together in a dance uh, and a beautiful dance everyone danced there were no suckers there in this dance it was a very uh, very nice uh, uh, rasa leela which was taking place in conclusion my dear devotees i want to read to you a poem krishna left his house the poem goes it's a song but i can't sing it uh, i only have the english also Krishna left his house decorated as Madan Gopal. He wears a beautiful cloth around his waist. Madan Mohan has also the name Madan Gopal, no? You know from our uh, scriptures. He wears a beautiful cloth around his waist. The Sakis color the sky with powder and they sing. Ho, ho, hori! Ho, ho, hori! Radha wears a veil of red colors. Krishna's heart is also f red, filled with anuraga. It's a particular type of love, loving emotion. Krishna wears a peacock feather that is bent to the side. Do you know to which side his peacock feather goes? Left. Why? Radha is there, yes. The eyes of Radha are also tilted and look to the side, like this, to Krishna. O oh Radha, come out of your house and meet with Krishna. As Radha walks down the street, she has this veil, but then she withdraws the veil and the full moon of her face appears. When the gopis fill their syringes with water and colors, they laugh. And when Krishna fills his syringe with water and color, he also laughs. <laughs> um, uh, even the munis are totally enchanted. Everyone's intelligence is bewildered to see the beautiful pastime of Holi. There is no play like this in all the three worlds. Krishna has left the house with his friends and he plays Holi. The limbs of the gopis look golden, but when they are sprinkled with the colors of holy, they look even more beautiful. Jai Jai Radhe Jai Jai Shyam Jai Jai
My dear devotees, uh, um, my kata has come to a conclusion now. I'm very happy uh, that uh, although I know this is a time when we have to leave Goloka Dam and you are preparing your travels and some of you mm, have had to leave already a little bit early, uh, I would l like to leave you with only one message. You have heard uh, this this pastime, uh, and uh, I'm I'm not very talented to present this so nicely, but I do hope and pray that from time to time something uh, was uh, uh, coming to you, and you were thinking, "Wonderful! This is really." Uh, a God who knows how to dance and <laughs> uh, joyful, joyful, not a stern uh, a g old man with a grey beard. And um, uh, you might have thought, well, this is something very valuable, uh, Radha and Krishna. Um, uh, you will now go back to your uh, uh, most of you are congregational devotees, you don't live in temples, some of you live in temples, you will go to your situations. What can you take uh, uh, with you? What is nowadays in Iskop we say takeaways? Hmm? One, two, three takeaways. Uh, I would like you to take only one thing away. There is a spiritual <coughs> reality that is so much beyond our present experience and what we can grasp with our senses. But it is highly attractive. As the song of Vidyapati informs us, yes, we are trying to find uh, enjoyment in this world, but this is a drop of water on the hot sand. It's something, some water better than no water some joy, but it is very temporary, it <laughs> goes very quickly. So there is an eternal spiritual word and just mm, mm, remain aware, keep it over <coughs> your head, uh, mm, keep it there and worship it and try to sometimes connect with it in your japa, in your reading, in your prayers and if you just keep this uh, on your head will be very good. Um, like in India we see uh, the ladies will go a long way um, to find that well that still gives water then they take pots of water from the well then they carry this precious well water uh, home. It is good for cooking purposes for cleaning purposes, it is necessary to be to survive. <coughs> so in the same way, carry Krishna over your head. He is necessary for you to purify your heart and he is necessary for you to survive and live a life that is uh, aligned to, to the true self, the tr true identity who you are. Thank you very much. Uh, there is m more is coming, more program is, is coming, and Gora Hari will tell us of the how the day goes. Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna is not uh, not yet finished. We have still one session from eleven to one o'clock, but some of you we know will need to go 
a little bit earlier, so for those of you who need to already go, we wish you a safe travel in case you have registered or you are actually have a long journey, we have prepared some sandwiches for you, so you please go to the kitchen and, and to take up what, whatever you need. And we hope that through this retreat you got a lot of drops of nectar and most of all that your thirst for more nectar is increasing, that you look more and more for this nectar and in that sense there will be some more uh, a flow of nectar coming up on the 4th and 5th of May there will be in Holland the Kirtan Mela, uh, Amsterdam Kirtan Mela and Holinem Retreat, also we see Holinem Sachinandana's family so the, the uh, Yatra from Amsterdam, in Amsterdam, the Yatra from Holland asked me to announce that. If you Google Amsterdam Kirtan Mela, you will get all the, the information. So see you later. Uh, I, one, one thing I have, uh, please mark in your calendar the Eastern holidays because we will have another uh, the Eastern uh, Bhakti Immersion Retreat. and. I did not have chance to speak with Keshava Maharaj yet about it, uh, and I will not put him on the on the spot. This is so <laughs> uncultured. Uh, but uh, I have uh, yesterday we ha I had time to speak, or we had uh, an opportunity to speak with Hari Parshat, and he uh, feels inspired to come for the next Eastern retreat. <coughs> so mm, uh, you uh, you please reserve it in your in your in your itinerary planner and uh, mm, uh, yes uh, please do this and Manjulali will give now an extremely short presentation because yes. you are hungry yes, yes. everybody is hungry and we want to serve you all in the very best way we have tried as as much as we could during this festival we had a um, wonderful kitchen crew um,